Hey guys. Um, so I'm making um I'm making a video. I've made one in quite a while. Um, probably it's because I haven't really been doing much, and I wanted to sort of um, hold off on information and sort of pack them all into one video instead of um, you know just saying um, you know nothing happened this week. So I'll see you guys next week. So you know when I make a video, I want you guys to know there's going to be some um, some information in there. So I'm this is a big one. So Hopefully I can fit it all in 10 minutes. So here we go. Um, first of all, my my weight update. So uh, when I first started, I had a weight of 137.4 kilograms, which uh, is 302.92 pounds. I currently weigh 92 kilograms, uh, which is 202.85 pounds which is a weight loss of 44.9 kilograms, which is 98.99 pounds. So that's um, that's pretty good. I am stoked about that. And um, I have just been losing weight gradually, and I'm just um, trying to eat healthy, you know, healthy-ish. Uh, um, and it, it's working out, and it's going great. Um, I went to the doctors uh, for a checkup. And he wants me to do a blood test. I've been holding off on the gym for a bit because I've been sick, and uh, I'm going back this weekend. So uh, here in Australia, it's about 4:41 a.m. on Friday. Technically, it's Friday, you know, Thursday night for me, but it's Friday. So um, back to the gym on the weekend, um, and uh, I should start feeling a lot better. I've been um, putting on muscle, so um, the weight loss has slowed has slowed because. Um, I'm replacing fat with muscle, which weighs more. So um, I'm stoked that I'm still losing weight and I'm putting on muscle and um, just getting over this cold, which is why I stopped at the gym. So I'll fix that up and uh, be back at the gym, getting healthy again. I turned 20 on the 6th of June. So hooray, I'm 20. I'm no longer a teenager, which makes me feel a little bit, uh, a little old. But you know, uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, so um, there's only a couple of things left on my list here. I have a list. Um, doo -doo -doo, parents weight loss surgery anniversary. Now I wanted to. Uh, it's not going to be in this video, um, but I would like to do a video on my parents, um, basically replacing me with them and just have them do a little, a little blog. Uh, it's my parents' two-year weight loss surgery anniversary coming up. Now I haven't um, made a video between. Between my last video and now, uh, my dad uh, has had his lap band removed, and he's now waiting three months before he has the um, the sleeve. Now, uh, when he does his surgery, because he had the lap band taken out and there could be complications, um, he may go in for a sleeve and come out with a gastric bypass because that's for what's required for safety. Um, or it might be okay for him to do uh, for for him to have a sleeve. So he's not quite sure what he's going to come out with, but. Uh, he is allowed, you know, he's able to state a preference, and his preference at the moment is um, for a sleeve. So he's going to have that soon, and um, um, I hope he's um, all better for Christmas. Um, as you might know, uh, we had a, um, a cruise planned for last year, and uh, because of my complications, my dad and I missed it, and my little brother and my mum went along with some of the other family. And um, we planned another one at the same time this year, and uh, my dad's having a surgery, and uh, we planned it to be uh, to leave a little more room between the surgery, uh, just in case anything happens. Um, don't want anything to happen, but you know, just in case. So yeah, I would like to do a video on that um, uh, about dad's um, history and how much he's lost, and um, he looks. Both my parents look fantastic after the surgery. It's it's drastically changed their lives. Um, and I'd like to share with you guys a little bit um, about their what what their life was and what it's like now, and um, I think it'd be fantastic to put them uh, to get them up here on the internet. Um, two things left. I'm saving the big one for the last. Um, I got frustrated at the supermarket today. I went to the supermarket, and um, um, I don't know how it is in America, but, you know, I've, I've been to America, and you guys have huge supermarkets, like, you got, like, hypermarkets, they're huge, uh, but where I live, it's a little rural town, and we have, you know, it's a big supermarket, 
by you know standards here, but you know it's pretty small, and everything comes in huge, huge packets, and I'm really getting tired of it. I was down the bread aisle, and I don't eat much bread. I, I eat hardly any bread. I bought a whole loaf um, last week because I wanted to have a couple of slices with my dinners, and I ended up not eating it because it went off before I got it to eat any of it. And um, you know that's a whole loaf gone. So my dad suggested that I get some Lebanese bread, um, which for you, for who, uh, for if you don't know what it is, it's just basically um, thicker bread and it comes in a, a circle shape. And it's supposed to last longer. And I bought a pack of eight. A pack of eight was the smallest size there was, and I had half a slice of Lebanese bread, and. Um, by the time I, I got back to it, it was a bit questionable in quality, and I had to throw it out. And it's really getting annoying at how much everything comes in bulk. And uh, it, it's it's really just, it, you know, it's. I'd like to know what other people do to try and combat this, because I know um, a lot of people here are um, not my age, and you guys have... Um, families and stuff, and you know, whatever you don't eat, your family can eat. But I'm just, um, you know, a single 20 year old uni student, and um, what I don't eat gets thrown out basically. And um, I've been starting to give um, leftovers to uh, my um, uni friends here, which, you know, leftovers is like five slices of Lebanese bread and, you know, like a whole bunch of. Uh, I eat all my meat, but everything else, you know, like, I sometimes, I'll buy, like, a packet of mushrooms that come in, like, a giant box of mushrooms, and I just can't eat it all before it goes off. It's just way too big. And, um, and the selection of foods, I found that, um, there's a lot of foods that I don't eat anymore, and, and that's okay. But, um, I do find it frustrating in, um, the fact that I'm really only after savory foods now. I, I'm not after sweets and things, which is nice, but it kind of limits me. And um, I like to to hear whether you guys are, um, you know, how your taste has changed, and uh, that'd be pretty interesting. And last but definitely not least, I want to actually know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna show you what I look like because in all my videos I've just been sitting here. So I actually have uh, behind me uh, my closet with a mirror on it, and I'll try and um, position it and. And um, this is what I look like now at um, 92 kilograms, which is 202 pounds. I'm just wearing a beanie because it's cold. I know you guys have summer, but on the other side of the planet, it's cold. It's really cold. It's like zero degrees Celsius here. Freezing. I think it's negative outside, but you know. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what it looked like. Alright, well, um, that's um, not, not, nothing really for you to compare with, but um, I might for my next video grab some photos and, um, you know, maybe I can show you. You, know, you can probably see the difference in my face, but, um, you know. Yeah, so that's what I look like at, at 92 kilograms. I'm a, I'm a big guy, and I've got big shoulders, so I'm not, I'm not going to be ever, uh, I'm never going to be a skinny little guy, a little surfer dude and stuff, but, you know, that's okay. Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, my weight is 92 kilograms, and I'm about mm, I'm about 5'10", 5'11", which puts me in the BMI range of 28, which means I'm no longer obese. <sighs> that's right, no longer obese. I'm just overweight, just overweight, and I think that's fantastic, and I'm... I'm only like three BMI points away from being at the top of the normal range, and um, I cannot wait for that. And I just it went by, and I didn't even notice because I don't really um, track my BMI. I just sort of you know oh that's my weight, so that's what I weigh now. You know it's, I've lost this much weight, but um, yeah, it's um, very unusual. It's it feels great to be in the overweight 
PMI stages. I don't know, it's not something everyone says every day, but um, I think I have been talking for way too long now, so that's everything that's happening. Um, I'm moving soon, so probably not going to get another video up um, very fast, but I definitely want to get my parents um, on here, and I'll probably upload them at the same time. Um, and you guys can find out all about my family. Um, oh, my family has had all three of the major weight loss surgery surgeries, so we are a wealth of information. If you ever want to contact us or ask us any questions, uh, we're mostly available, and we'll send you an email straight back. Alrighty? So um, I'll speak to you guys next time, and thanks for watching.